I am absolutely in love with my Yaesu FT818. This thing is awesome. I'm falling more and more in love with it every day. I was going through all my radios, programming uh, all the repeaters in so they're all the same on every radio. And when I got to this guy, not so much fun. I was looking into how to program this and I ain't trying to buy a new cable, but I do have a DigiRig. And I asked myself, well, this connects to my computer to do FT8 and things. I wonder if I could use my DigiRig to program this radio. Spoiler alert, you can. And I'm gonna show you how this time on Ham Radio Tube. All right, guys, so this is really easy. We're gonna start with our DigiRig. And we only need to use one of these cables. On mine, it's the green one, but it's the, it's the port marked serial. That's the one we're gonna be plugging in, okay? It's the eight pin connector, all right? That guy. So on the back of the 817 or the 818 in my case, we're gonna plug it right in to where it says ACC. I always get this wrong. Let's see if I can do this. Here we are, all right. That's all we need. Now, I'm gonna plug the DigiRig into my computer. Now let's hop over to Chirp. And I'm using Chirp Next. This may, I suppose this would work with uh, the older version of Chirp, but I like Chirp Next. We're gonna hit radio. We're gonna hit download from radio. We need to find our uh, port. In my case, it's this 21220. And I'm gonna select, uh, where are you? Where's, where's Y in the alphabet? There you are, Yesu and FT818. Now make sure you select whether you have the 817 or the 818, the one that says US if you're in the US. The 818 and the 817 are for other countries. So we're gonna select FT818 ND US because that's the radio I have. Then we're gonna hit OK. Now it says turn the radio off, connect the ACC jack, press and hold the mode left and mode keys while turning the radio on. So that's these keys here. We're gonna push both of those down and turn the radio on. And now you can see it says clone mode. So we're gonna click okay, and then we're gonna hit the A button. And now it is reading from the radio. It only takes a second, it's pretty quick. And that's it. So this just downloaded everything that's on my radio. So I have, I already have all my repeaters programmed in here. But just like any other thing in Chirp, if you wanna, you know, let's say I wanna put Simplex on here, 146.52, just call that FM Simplex, whatever. Uh, we don't need a tone for that. You can do the offsets and everything, change your mode. Uh, I haven't, it doesn't do power for some reason. Um, you can't do everything on this, but it's pretty darn sweet. So those are all my repeaters uh, and it has, uh, what do we have? 200 memories it looks like we can put into this. We can go here to settings, and here's some different things if you want to kind of go in, kind of in the deeper menus and change things like scan or uh, I think there's like mic gain and stuff. Here's your AM mic level, uh, automatic range system I think these guys are. Uh, here's your transmit power. Okay, so you can do high, low, three, low one, or low two, whatever. So, okay, you can do your power there, so that's good. Doesn't set it for each individual uh, frequency, though. Here you can change your baud rate to 4896 or 384. You can go into CW, change some CW settings. Uh, let's see, digital and packet. I don't know much about this stuff. Uh, I just leave I just leave all this as default because when I use WSJTX, it changes uh, the modes and stuff like that. Panel controls, you got split, scan mode, priority, dual watch. Here's your auto, auto range transponder, uh, noise blanker. So pretty much everything you can access through the, the keypads on the front of the radio, but uh, it's nice to just be able to do this without having to navigate uh, through that tiny screen and all the, all the menus there. So uh, let's see, what are these panel settings? AM and FM dial, what is that? Sure, let's turn that on. There's your contrast, the color of the LED. Lock mode, dial frequency, or panel. Some of this, like I, I still have a lot to learn about this radio, but I, I just love it so much. 
Main step is fine. There's your squelch or RF gain. You can change that to squelch or RF gain. I think that's band dependent though anyway, so that shouldn't matter. Uh, here's some stuff you probably don't need to worry about. And then antenna selection. I like this um, because like broadcasting, airband, VHF, UHF, I'm generally gonna use the front antenna for that. And then on HF, I was actually using the front antenna the other day, but usually I'll have HF for the rear and uh, probably six meters depending on what uh, antenna I'm using. So you can just kind of always default to that. So it's pretty nice to be able to use the DigiRig and program the 818 just with Chirp. So now we've programmed this uh, FM simplex in here and to write it, we're just gonna go to upload to radio. It already has everything in here. We're gonna hit okay. Now we're gonna press the C key and now you can see it is writing to the radio. Whoops. As soon as I hit OK, now it's right into the radio. So it's going to change those settings that we did. It's going to add 14652 to uh, our memories here, and we'll show you what that looks like in just a second. So now that it's uh, written everything, we have to turn the radio off. Then we can go ahead and turn it back on. And we can see here are all of the repeaters. And the last one should be the 14652 FM simplex there. So there we go. So I hope that was helpful for you. Another reason why the DigiRig is such an awesome tool. Programming this radio by hand is not my favorite thing in the world. And uh, I just discovered that it could do this the other day because I wanted to put all the repeaters in here. And sure enough, it worked. So I thank you so much for watching and we will see you again on another episode of Ham Radio Tube 73.